they ended up hiring an offensive line coach, which even further confirmed what the Cowboys are doing. They hire Mike Solari. Mike Solari, who has had actually coached with the Dallas Cowboys under Tom Landry. So he knows, you know, not really the building, because the building's changed. You know, we're not that, uh, 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 you know, Valley Ranch anymore. Okay, of course, it's a star. So he'll have to get the tour there. But he has been around the NFL for a couple of years. He was uh, offensive coordinator back in the early 2000s for Kansas City. Uh, he worked with Mike McCarthy for a couple of years and things. Um he was there in San Francisco the last four years. He's actually been with the Seattle Seahawks. So we got that news that happened. And so, um, you know, he's respected. You know, he's got experience. He's got a gray beard. So um, unlike Joe Feeben, who had experience of being a head coach and an offensive line coach, I'm, yeah, he's old. And you know what? Sometimes it's, it's good to have an old guy. An old veteran, because maybe it's old school, you know, because, uh, you know, some of these new school people out here, you know, they get butt hurt because somebody said something on social media, you know, and they, they delete their, their social media account and stop following you. You know what? I need an old guy. I need an old guy that's got foot and ass. See, see, you, you young people don't understand foot and ass philosophy. You got this whole thing. I'm going to block you on social media. Man, get out of here with that crap. Get out of here with that. That's some bullshit. Give me some old school ass kicking, okay? You know, where he'll pick up one of them offensive linemen. See, I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you. We had an offensive line coach. Coach Wolf, we called him. He had red hair. Red hair, okay? He had a mustache and a scraggly beard and everything else, right? He was a little guy. Little guy. But the guy was like a wolf, okay? Because he oh, God damn. You know, he would growl all the time and grunt. And I remember he took uh, Chris Pearson. Chris Pearson, okay? Chris Pearson, we were on the blocking sled, right? He said, like, God damn it, Chris Pearson. What the hell? What the hell? I mean, he literally sound like a rabid dog. He literally grabbed Chris Pearson by the shoulder pad and his ass and took him and he's swinging and throwing his ass against the block. With the, I mean, seriously, God damn it, Chris Pearson, here's how you block, 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 block. And I mean, he's like, you know, like, he's just flying right back and forth. He's flying like a crazy man into the blocking sled. And I tell you what, Chris Pearson didn't want to have that happen anymore. <laughs> he straightened up and flew right. Now, you know, today I can see the coach saying, well, I'm not going to follow you anymore. Cause you didn't, you missed that block. Screw that. Give me an old guy to put some foot in ass. Give me an old school guy that understands the game. It's got some fire. Got some gray in the beard. Oh, you know what, Brandon? I can't believe that. You know, all of a sudden, Kellen Moore is a genius and the Cowboys are idiots for getting rid of him. And that's the same shit that they said about Jason Garrett. When Jason Garrett left the building, you remember 